Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Anyway, I I thought I'd drop a little bit a, a little video before I have my meal here. Actually, I haven't eaten today and it's after Maghrib. So I just finished my prayers and um, I thought I had my dinner before Isha time. Anyway, it's um, it's not chicken curry, but it's lamb meat curry noodles with noodles. Okay, so I um, I'm going to tell you guys how I fix this dinner, just you know, roughly. Anyway, I sauteed some onions, sauteed some onions, and then I put in the meat that I have cut it up into small pieces. It's lamb, as far as I know, or goat. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's lamb meat. So, um, so I cut it up, and then the, let it kind of, you know, cook and simmer. And then I added um, some spices, like curry, I mean, sorry, I added uh, a little bit of turmeric powder first, a little cinnamon powder, a little, uh, I think I might have added some chili powder or paprika. And then I also added like, um, like a three tablespoon of curry powder. If you don't have uh, meat curry powder for meat, you can also use fish curry powder. That tastes pretty good. And so I, you know, I added all the spices and um, then I added the coconut milk, right? And so I ordered, uh, um, added some coconut milk, you know, and then I, you know, like half a can of a, co half a can of coconut milk, yeah. And I also put in the vegetables. I had, uh, I had some, uh, potatoes cut up so like half a, a huge potato and then I also put some guess what eggplant because my friend um, my Pakistani BFF she had given me some eggplant like a month ago a few weeks ago or two weeks ago it, and I haven't used uh, it and so I used like two two eggplant you know like a four inch size uh, eggplant for yeah about about four or five inch so I cut up like a couple of those so I added some eggplant uh, with the potatoes and I also put some a little bit of uh, uh, cabbage yeah cut up some cabbage and that's it for vegetable I thought I was gonna add some chickpeas but I thought you know it's a little too much anyway so with the vegetables in there with the coconut milk in there and you can add water if you like so I added like two cups of water so that my um, my uh, let me see my uh, this gravy is not so runny it's kind like you know kind like um you know like kind of thick but not runny so I, you want to make sure, if you like it kind of thick, so don't add too much water. But if you don't like it so thick, then you can add more water. It depends on how you like your curry noodles. So anyway, so then with the coconut milk and a little water, so I let it simmer till it cook. And now I'm ready to eat it. So, and then this was an egg I had prepared earlier. Just the 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 yellow part and um, so you can add different vegetables like green peppers that's you know chickpeas green peppers you can add more cut up onions but I already had sauteed onions in the first uh, in the initial stage so there are onions but today because I'm hungry I just didn't prepare anything else just ready to eat so usually when I cook, I don't like to add too much salt and pepper, I mean black pepper or, or sugar or whatever. I usually 
sprinkle some like when I'm ready to eat. See? So like now, so I'll just sprinkle some, right? And I'll mix it up. And then I even add some of these. If you like some sweet, add some of honey. Like a half a half a tea, uh, tablespoon. Or if you like it sweeter, add more. But I think a, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon is good to give a sweet, tangy taste to it, you know? So, so that's what I do with my cooking. I do not like to add any more, too much salt or sugar when I'm cooking. Because sometimes uh, you, you overcook it. Guess what? The stuff will, will, will kind of uh, be bad for you. You know, like if you overcook salt or sugar, they tend to react or something and it's not good for your health. So it's safer for you to just add a little when you, you're done with cooking or simmering, whatever. Uh, be, when you shut off the, you know, you, should, you turn off your stove, then you can add a little salt, mix it well, or sugar. But not when you're cooking, because when you're still cooking, sometimes you tend to overcook. And if you overcook sugar or salt, as far as I know, it's going to do bad to your health. So stay, stop from doing that. I used to do that a lot when I was younger, when I first started learning how to cook, like in my 20s. And I, then I had no experience in cooking. And I was so dumb. I put too much sugar and I let it cook and sit for a long time. And then they still taste like something is missing. It's all because I cook it for too long. So then, and then I get confused like, do I need more sugar? Do I need more salt? Or did I put too much of this, too much that? So, you know, those days are gone now. All I do is, when I'm ready to eat, I'll just put some salt. I'll just season it with some black pepper, which I will put some too, like this. I'll put some of these. But if you want to add white pepper, I suggest put it when you're cooking. I mean, you know, white pepper is better to, yeah, add some in your cooking, when you're cooking, if you want the, the flavor of it. But black pepper, you can just sprinkle when you're ready to eat, just a little bit, or like chili powder, or, you know, hot sauce, whatever. Okay, people, I'm really hungry. So, hope you guys having a great breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you are. Enjoy your food, you know, enjoy your meals, and have a healthy breakfast, healthy meals. Enjoy your day. And stay safe, alright? Alright people, have a good night. Have a good morning. If you're in Malaysia or any part of the world, have a happy uh, afternoon and happy Tuesday. It's still Monday here, but happy Tuesday for you guys in the other part of the world. Alright people, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace.